Hello gamers, this is Spike the Retro Gamer. Um, today I'm gonna do uh, an unboxing. Well, it's kind of an unboxing of uh, all the stuff I got from eBay uh, these past uh, two and a half months. It's a lot of stuff, I haven't had time to open them, so I decided to open them on camera. Let's see what I've got. I know I've got a plenty of uh, PC games, of some hardware. I'm really into uh, PC gaming right now, classic PC gaming. So let's see what I've got. Alright, so let's start with this one. Let's see what we got here. Always be careful not to uh, cut the, the package of the game because one of the main reasons we buy these is because of manual and uh, all that stuff, all the nice cool stuff. All right, so let's see. All right, Far Cry 2. Do you believe I never played Far Cry? All right, so this is Far Cry 2, the PC. Next up here, let's see. Another PC game here. A lot of bubble. And I hate when they ship those uh, paper box games on the on the paper uh, on the yellow uh, yellow envelope. Look, no consideration, man. Look at this box. Anyway, this is Warrior Kings Battles. Strategy game. I got this for like three dollars and fifty cents. It's not a bad deal. Never heard about this game, but it's sealed. It's factory sealed. Box a little beat up, but factory sealed. So codes must be good. All right, next one here. Let's see what you got. All right. First of many, I only, I've only got Civilization 5. I didn't have any of the other civilizations like in a box like this. Uh, I've played the first and the second one a uh, long, long time ago, but I've never played the other ones. This is Civilization 3. I love these boxes. They're small format boxes, but I like it. And uh, this is on is open. Uh, let me see if there's everything inside here. All right, looks complete. Game, instruction manual. All right, cool. I love me some civilization. I decided to get all the civilization games because I want to do a, I want to do a documentary sort of video with uh, Civilization games, so let's see what's next here. A lot of those uh, homemade uh, boxes, so it seems. Freedom Force. Man, I love this game back in the day. I, I bought this game uh, when it came out in a box. I've uh, I still have the game, but I didn't have a box anymore. I threw it away. So I decided to get this one just for the box. Look at this art. Look at this. I love this comic book style and a superhero game. You know, it's not a great game, but you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. So. Had to get it. This is pre-owned as well, but you know, I, I I have the original. I have an original game with the, the, the serial keys and everything else. So I wanted the box and the manual. That's pretty much it. All right, here it is. Konami Soccer for the MSX. 
8-bit computer system from Japan. Look at this. Look at this cartridge. Konami Soccer. This is the first, pretty much the first soccer game I ever fell in love with. Original card by Konami. This is amazing. It was from a guy here in the US. Not the, it was not that expensive. And I also got this clean B from him. Look at this. Clean B for the MSX. Original cartridge. Would you believe I, I used to have the MSX in the 80s, but these are actually my first original MSX cartridge I ever had. I'm from Brazil and back in Brazil. Um, all the games were pirate. Like even the, even the ones that came in cartridges, they were pirate copies. So, look, amazing. Really happy I got these two. First of many. Those are my first MSX games ever. I have another one here. Let's see what this is. here okay this is a Dell SD S3 Trio 64 V plus look at this and I got this for like three dollars honestly and uh, it, it's made by Dell. I was looking for an S3 card for my DOS um, rig. I'm building a DOS rig to play some DOS games, to game plays on DOS games. And uh, I found this one really cheap. And the, the, the seller said they didn't know if this works. But for $3, I decided to try. I got another S3, uh, ST3064V Plus. Some diamond actually it's probably here all right not a package this one is like in a bubble I like boxes man if they ship my stuff in boxes I'm a happy person let's see what this is it's another car all right let's see what this is wow this one is kind of sealed look an AGP video card. I don't remember getting this one. It's, it's sealed. It's brand new. Let me see. It's a. Uh, let, me see. let me show you guys. Let me see. An AGP card. Hmm. I don't remember getting this video card. Well, it's an AGP card. I'm looking to build a, P a play, uh, Pantheon tree. We have this one. I couldn't get a Voodoo card, so I got this one. I don't remember the name of this card, but I'll, I'll figure out. It doesn't say there. Not a small envelope. All right, these are memories. I got these DDR2 memories, 8 gig, actually 4 gig, 4 gig of uh, DDR2 memories. There you go, Corsairs. I already have two of these. I was looking to have another two. Put on my uh, Core Duo, Core 2 Duo system. A system I'm building to have uh, maybe Windows XP or Windows 7 runs run some er early uh, early 2000 games on that one but there. Those memories. All right. Let's see what's next. Let's put those memories here on this bag. Right. Let's see what else I got. Okay, bigger box. Let's 
seems to be another piece of hardware. And it is. All right. This is what I was talking about. This is the, uh, the Diamond TV, Stealth 64 TV card. Here it is. It's an, another ST3064 V+. This was a little bit more than $3. I believe I paid $19 on this one. It's the TV card. I'm not hoping the TV works. But I wanted the, this one that was, you know, the seller said it's guaranteed to work. And uh, I wanted, I wanted a card for my DOS setup. It's a DOS Windows 95 setup I'm trying to build. And uh, this is the card I'm gonna use. I believe it has two, gig, two megabytes of memory, of video memory this one, so. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty good card for the setup I'm trying to have, so. All right, I guess I know what this is. Look at the, look at the sound. I bet there's manuals and floppies in here. So let's see. Very careful, because this is one of the, if it is what I'm thinking, this is one of my most anticipated games that I've ordered online for my collection. Alright, another, another eBay note here on this side, so that they put this out. Sim City 2000. One of my favorite games, man. Favorite DOS of the DOS era. Sim City 2000. Let's see here. Look at this. Floppies. Little floppies. Manual. Business replied. Thingy. Big Star Guide, amazing. Yeah, completing the box, man. I wanted this game. I ordered another one that has not arrived yet. It's the Deluxe Edition, the one with the silver box. It's coming, so you guys will have the opportunity to see it on the next eBay unboxing video. All right, so next up, another little box. It's a PC, it's probably a PC game, small format box. I bought a bunch of those uh, lately. You know, I, I, was, I was surprised. You can find uh, many of those uh, small box games for like three, four, five, six dollars max. And uh, I know some of those, the serial number would not work, but just to be able to have this, man, look. Civilization. This is, uh, huh. Civilization 4. I thought this this should be a game of the year edition, but it's not. It's still pretty cool. Civilization 4. Never played this one. I played 1, 2, 3, and 5. I've never played uh, 4. I, I don't think I have played 3 as well. I played 1 and 2 for sure. Uh, I played 1 on the Amiga, man. <laughs> That's hardcore. Uh, that's old school, that's old school, but this one, I never played Civilization 4, I played 5, I have 5. And my Civilization 5 was actually my first uh, Steam game. Because uh, you open the box, put the CD on, they want you to register to Steam, so... Okay, so there you go, two new small format box PC games. All right, this one, Freedom Force, the Third Reich. This is the follow-up to Freedom Force. This one I've never played. Never played this one. The box seems a little light. Let's see if everything's in here. I guess they're trying to save money because the CDs, they come like this, but I don't care. The original game and yeah, this one I got for like two bucks I'm, I'm, I'm being really honest there you go and I bundle with this one Medal of Honor Pacific Assault I don't know man on the PC 
uh, PlayStation and the PlayStation One and Two and the PC. I like Metal of Honor games better than Call of Duty. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I've never had this game. I never played this game. This one here. Never played this one either. All right, so I guess I'm gonna play them now. All right. Now this. This is what I'm thinking. I've been wanting this for years, man. I've never had the opportunity to have one of these. And uh, when I had the Amiga, I played this game. And uh, it was a backup copy, if you know what I mean. Uh, there you go, man. Look, Civilization, the original one. Well packed. I like it. Guy shipped on a brown envelope, but it shipped well packed. So let's open this. Very careful. I don't want to damage the, the box. And this was, I've been looking on eBay for this, for this version for quite some time. I nobody had it. And then this guy showed up and uh, finally got something. So, all right. Look at this, man. This is beautiful. Look at this. The original uh, civilization in a big box, in those microprose boxes, they had this kind of sleeve type. Look, the box is a little bit yellowed. <laughs> it's real classic, man, even the yellow part. Oh my god, the guy put all peanuts in here. Look at this. Peanuts. That's okay. Let's protect my investment. That's what he did. Alright, so look at it. Look at this. He put the plastic film on my discs. Thank you. They're well protected. And the manual. The beefy civilization manual. Man, I've played this game for so many hours, but I've never had the original copy with the, the manual before, and here it is. Thank you so much, sir, for listing this on your day for me. Big box. And this guy, man, this guy here, he had, he had so many PC games for sale. And uh, I wanted to bundle like eight games with him, but uh, I just had not spent too much. But he was giving a discount of shipping, and uh, I bought four games from him. All right, let's take it. Newspaper out of my way. There you go. Rollercoaster Tycoon Gold Edition. Box is bang up, banged up, man. Jesus Christ. All right, let me see what else. Okay. Titan Quest. Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Assault. Uh, the box is a little... Someone tried to remove the price here. Damage the box, but... Th th these were like $2 each. And another roller coaster icon. I got the gold edition and the regular edition. From the same guy. So you would ask, why, Alex, why do you do this? You know, the reason I did this is because this guy, you know, I I bought one of these one of these games and looking closely at the pictures, I saw that he had the CDs mixed between the regular version and the gold edition version. So to buy the other one would be, would be like three dollars, and uh, he would he would discount on shipping. So I went ahead and bought both because let's take a look here. He he was mixing up the the CDs on these versions. So you know here it is. This is for this is the gold edition. All right, and mind you, the gold edition does not have any mention to microprose on the box, it's infograms. Oh, this one as well, also infograms. So, but you know, something on the, pic on the images show me that the discs were mixed up. So let me take a look here, let me see if I was right or wrong. Okay. I might be wrong, but this game is microprose and has no ESRB 
rating, the disc queue, and this has the ASRB. So one in three has the ASRB ratings. Let me see this one here. Because I think this guy makes that. That's why I bought both. Maybe it was my mistake. Maybe I was seeing something wrong. I don't know. But uh, let's see. This is regular manuals here. Like manual for corkscrew follies. Right? So expansion pack in here. Oops. There you go. Okay. So this. This one, corkscrew follies, all right, oh yeah, I was wrong, <laughs> turns out I was wrong, look, the discs are identical, discs are identical, so they look identical, so it was my mistake, either way, I don't care, I got two versions, they were like three dollars each, so so fine and good, my mistake, still a good deal, big boy, big boy number two, now this, I've mentioned I'm building the a Core 2 a Duo setup, I have the processor, I have a motherboard, I have a SFX, XFX motherboard, and uh, I needed a video card, now I was looking online and this one, man, I, this one is really a great deal. And uh, and it's it's a video card I used to have. Look at this. I used to have this video card, but mine uh, fried for some reason. So I got another one. Look at this box, man. This is a video card box. The GeForce 9600 GSO graphics card. This is 768 megabytes of GDDR2 memory. Man, this video card was cool, man. I, when I had my uh, Core 2 Duo, this video card, I played many cool games on this one. Look. This was state of the art at the time, like late 2000s. This one is in great shape. It's a little dirty, but I'll, I'll clean it up. Clean it up good. Seller said it's working fine, so I believe him. This, this is pretty cool. And this is for my uh, Core 2 Duo build. I actually already have the motherboard and processor I needed a video card and I need more memory, so I got those Corsair XM2 memories and I've got this video card to go with it, so pretty awesome, awesome build. I got this for less than 15 bucks, man. Less than 15 bucks, you know. I, I research a lot and buy on eBay, like I keep look, I look some stuff a long time before I, I put the uh, bid or that that bid or that buy now in and uh, or I hit the buy now button or I submit an offer but this this was a cool a cool view you know it's, it's an out it's outdated tech but it's great all right and my final box here this one uh, came from Canada and uh, it was another pretty good deal. And uh, I was looking, you know, back in the day, I've had, uh, I've had my first Pentium uh, computer it was a, a 233 MMX on an Asus motherboard. And uh, I sold this one long ago to, you know, you keep upgrading your PCs when you're younger and don't have that much money. And uh, you, lose, you lose the PCs you used to have. So, when you look back, you think, man, that was a great DOS machine. That was, that was the best DOS machine I could ever have. So, and I even ran Windows 95 on that one, but then I, I got a Pentium 3, and, uh, and then I would we, do a card, and I sold mine. So, that's this one. This one I got from this dude in Canada. 
see. And it is a, uh, where, where did we open this? It's sealed, man, it's sealed. I'll have to cut through this. All right, so let's, let's do it before I tell you exactly what it is. There you go. It's open, let's take it out. Here it is. IO shield and everything. And this is an Asus TX, TX97XV with a Pentium MMX 203 MHz already installed and memory. And this is how much memory do we have here? Because he didn't mention on the auction, but I saw in the picture that he had memory. This is probably 256K of memory. And uh, it's probably 64 each. It's uh, Kingston memory. I'll check the memory later, but you know, it comes, it comes, I got like 4950 motherboard processor memory. So it's pretty much my full uh, DOS setup. And uh, with, with one of these cards, the, one of these S3 cards, this is going to be my DOS uh, rig that I'm going to build so I can, uh, I can play some DOS games. Pretty awesome. It's a little dirty, but uh, it looks like it's in great shape. I'll clean this up. I have floppy drives. I have uh, flat cables. I need, I need to get a power supply, though, but this is it. It's... Uh, it's a great motherboard. I used to have this very, the very same motherboard, but mine had these, these memories here, memory slots here, that this one doesn't. And I know this one takes maximum 256, so I'm hoping this is 256, which for the Pentium, uh, for DOS setup is more than enough. You know, most DOS setups uh, back in the day were 64 uh, of memory. This is 256, and uh, see two IDEs. Amazing, man. Amazing. I'm really happy I, I found this one for such a great price. Three ISA uh, slots, four PCI. I already have a sound blaster I can put here. So I think I'm good. I'm going to build my DOS rig and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be shooting this video about this. Uh, you know, all the stuff you got, we saw here, it's for videos. You know, I'm going to do a video on the MSX games. I'm going to do a video on the Civilization games. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I intend to do a lot more of those pickup videos in the future with uh, some of my uh, eBay purchases and uh, some of my GameStop purchases. I still buy a lot of stuff on GameStop, a lot of PS3 games, uh, Xbox 360 games, and always find good stuff over there. So I'll be doing videos on those as well. And uh, maybe some thrift stores uh, as well, you know, Goodwill and all that stuff. So keep... Keep uh, watching my channel, uh, subscribe, comment below, you're always welcome. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day.